unleash the legend. Checking things out. Well, buddy, I thought it was time I dropped by the doghouse. Catch up. Give you a pat. After all, you've been a very good boy. I say fetch, and you fetch. I say kill a fugitive tiefling, and well, I can trust it'll get done. An obedient pup, pure perfection. Somewhere deep inside, a spark is ignited. You are the hell's fires made flesh. Always a pleasure. Shame that tadpole's gone and pissed on your party. But I'll be damned if it goes pissing on mine. I've got some errands to do. But don't you fret much, pup. I'll be back in three shakes of your tail. You won't be waiting long. Ta-ta! Word, if I may. Uh, <laughs> well, I'll be God's damned. The Blade of Frontiers. Thought I'd shaken you for good. That'll teach me to underestimate you. This is your target, Will. I think you may have been misinformed. Look, it's an honor to be chased by a famed hero. I'm, I'm no devil, though. Not by a long shot. I can explain. It's a whole situation. If you just hear me out... Oh. The parasites connect you. A vision unfolds. Karlak's blade raised, slicing through devils, Zariel's servants. As her eyes dart around, seeking escape, her rage and desperation seep into you. She is a victim of the Blood War, not an agent of it. <laughs> Fuck! I 
never wanted to serve Zariel. I was enlisted in her army against my will. Forced to fight, fight I did. When I saw an opportunity to get away, I took it. I finally home. Or near it, anyway. And you almost seem sensible. On my heart, I'm telling you the truth. If you believe her, killing her would be a crime. But break your pact and the consequences will be unfathomable. Whatever that price may be, I'll help you pay it. We'll be in this together. Thank the gods. I would have taken no pleasure in burning you to a crisp. Well, not much anyway. And look, you don't have to trust me blindly. I'll prove to you I'm as clean as they come. In fact, we're in the same line of work in a way. Um, are you all right? We'll say we take our mind off things with a little fun, huh? I may not be a devil, but I can put that reputation of yours to work. How would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? A little background, if your moral compass needs something to point at. You already know I fought in the Blood War. I was good. Really good. Turns out, I've got a knack for killing demons. That made me a valuable asset. Zariel, the Archdevil herself, made me as her personal attack dog. I played along until I could get the fuck out of there. But devils don't like to lose their assets. Zariel liked it so little, she sent a bunch of goons, so-called Paladins of Tear, after me. <sighs> until a minute ago, I thought you were working with them. They want to take me back to the Hells. But believe me when I say I'd rather die. Fuck yes. They cornered me outside the Toll House, just up the hill. Doubt they've gone far after the scorching I gave them. Then, we can work on evicting this parasite and take Faerun by the short hairs. Sound good? A warrior who winks at her foes while she slays them. You'd be a fool to refuse her. Oh, I'd hug you if it wouldn't scorch your skin off. Oh, hang on, though. Looks like you've got enough backup at your side. Not sure there's room for me. I'll catch up with you when it's time to camp for now. But don't get to any of the fun stuff without me, got it? Feeling illicit? And you know what happens when you're naughty. Mizora, Zariel's lapdog. I prefer advocate. Has a nice ring to it. You've been a bad boy, Will. I'd say your leash needs a yank. We had a deal, Will. But Karlak's still breathing. I've taken more pleasant shits than you, Mizora. And at least those can be buried after. That's no kind of talk for a lady. By the way, Karlak, Zariel sends her regards. How precious. The little pupster's found his bark. Clause G, Section 9. Target shall be limited to the infernal, the demonic, the heartless, and the soulless. Karlak meets the criteria, pet. 
Trust me on this. You've been defiant. And defiance requires discipline. To win. You burn in the fires of Avernus. The lightning storms of Dis strike your flesh. Your soul passes through each layer of the hells, gaining their essence and their torment. Matter of perspective, I'm sure you'll agree. Get used to the new form, pet. There's no going back. Some magic even I can't undo. Now, let's see how the frontiers fare without their precious blade. Karlak, keep an eye on him, would you? I'll be keeping mine on you. Oh, and Will? Don't forget, our pact still stands. Ta-ta. Will. I don't know what to say. I can't believe what you did. It's been a long time since someone stuck their neck out for me like that. How can I thank you? I'm glad you saw me for who I am. And... And I think I can see who you really are, too. A hero. I'm grateful I get to travel with you, Will. You may look like a devil, but you're one of the most noble men I've ever met. Feeling illicit? We were both part of Zariel's inner circle. Her by choice, me by force. In the grand scheme of things, I'm inconsequential to Zariel. Sure, I've got the engine, but I wasn't even her strongest fighter. But she favored me like a child favors a captive pet. Mizora envied the attention, I suppose. I'm sure when Zariel gave her the order to hunt me down, Mizora was delighted. I guess that's good news, right? Maybe Zariel's found some other poor sap to occupy her interest. I don't know. You'd think she'd have more important things to do. Devils and their pride. <sighs> no kidding. The fighting, the chaos, the betrayal. <laughs> it had the makings of a good stage show, but I did not want to be one of the players. Too bad. I thought maybe you could be a friend. I could have done with one of those. <laughs> 